Hello, people of the tubes. Uh, so, if you see my last challenge, that was the cold water challenge. I didn't exactly do it right, but it, it's fine for that. I don't have a giant lake beside my house, and nor do I have a pool. So, the way I see it, you use what you got. Now, there is another challenge that I, I've heard of, the waterboarding challenge. If you don't know what waterboarding is, well, you've been living in under a fucking rock, per se. Waterboarding is what the American government uses to, or military, whichever you want to blame for the piece of shit war in Iraq, uses on a terrorist to simulate drowning. They put a rag over their face and proceed to pour water on them. At first, this sounds like it would be ineffective, but since most terrorists in the world only last for 13 seconds, and grown men in MMA and other uh, forms of being badass, military, can't really take it that much. So this is a pretty effective form of torture. Now, apparently people on YouTube have been dumb enough to actually do this. Kind of like hooking a fucking car battery up to your nipples. I've yet to see that video on YouTube. It probably exists, but uh, that is one challenge I will not do. Um, I'm a little cautious on the war waterboarding challenge, just like I was cautious on the pepper challenge. The lasting effect of the waterboarding challenge is unknown to me. I don't think think you can drown from waterboarding if it's done wrong and unfortunately I don't know how to do it right so I may just do it today and get it over with so I can add it to my list of challenges I've done before I take on the Maruga Scorpion um so yeah so I'll be a prolific challenge person period so maybe that's what I'll do today we'll see